On today's menu is a crispy, crunchy fish recipe that everyone will love eating, even if you do not like having fish. Fish pakoda, fish fry, whatever or however you may want to call it, these are too delicious. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Boombi. I have taken boneless, skinless fish fillets and I have used tilapia, but you can use any fish of your choice. I've cut the fillets into small sizes. In it goes half a teaspoon of salt. I love using a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. You can use less or just leave it out if you do not want any heat. Then freshly ground black pepper, a heaped teaspoon of finely grated garlic. Garlic gives a nice flavor to this fish fry. And finally, juice of half a lemon. Mix everything very well and let it sit for 15 minutes at room temperature. Next comes a second set of ingredients. I like using half a teaspoon of carom seeds that is ajwain, but I know many of you won't be able to get hold of this ingredient as it is available only at Indian grocery store or you can also find them online. In that case you can use dried thyme. Thyme has the same component called thymol, so it goes very close to ajwain regarding flavor. Then I added two serving spoons full of gram flour and half a serving spoon of rice flour. Rice flour makes the pakoras extra crispy, but do not add too much as the pakoras will get hard. You can also use cornstarch in place of rice flour. You can use garbanzo bean flour in place of basin. I love using a heaped tablespoon of plain unflavored yogurt and it gives a tanginess to the batter, but that's totally optional. You can also use sour cream in place of yogurt. Then half a teaspoon of baking powder to make the fries light and fluffy. And finally half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, the sunshine of Indian cuisine. Half a teaspoon of salt. Now mix the dry ingredients with the fish. Do not add any water first. Just give a brief mix and then add just a splash of water so that you get a light coating on top. Now my friends there is no exact measurements to adding basin here. Do not add too much as you do not want a thick coating and that will be too heavy. Now all you need to do is fry them. Heat oil on medium heat. Add a little batter at first and if it floats immediately on top the oil is hot enough. If you see it turning deep brown immediately after coming in contact with the oil then your oil is too hot. In that case you have to lower the heat, bring down the temperature a little bit before adding the fish. Add the pieces in a single layer and do not add too much as they will stick to each other and fry unevenly. Do not turn them immediately after adding into the oil. Allow it to get fried for about 2 to 3 minutes and then turn them. Fry them on medium low heat. If the fish fillets are thin, then it will hardly take a few minutes to get cooked. Fry till they are golden brown in color. You can call these fish pakoras as well. They have this crispy exterior and the fish stays juicy and flaky inside. The gram flour gives that nutty flavor and the rice flour brings in that extra crunch to it. It is best to serve them hot. If you make them in large batches, then you can keep them hot in a low oven. You can serve them with a white dip that I showed in my fish kebab video and I will leave that link in the description box below. I like it as is and believe me my friends, they are too yummy. Kids, adults, everyone will love having this. Please click that like button for me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.